What is going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we got a bunch of new Corvette carbon fiber parts for the C7 2014 to 2019 Chevy Corvette. Now these are made of real carbon fiber. Got many options available and a lot more on the way. We're actually gonna go over a few of them today. The first one I'm gonna start with is the center steering wheel cover, which goes on the center steering wheel. Gonna open this up real quick. As you can see, made with real carbon fiber, covered in a clear coat layer to keep it nice and glossy and protected. Also puts a Corvette symbol so you can still see that. And simply install with adhesive on the back. You just peel that off, add some heat to clean the surface, and it installs right on pretty easily. And after we go over these, we actually have a C7 Corvette on the way when my friend Zach is bringing it in. We're gonna get all these parts installed, show you guys how they look and how to install them. So, the steering wheel cover right here, went over that, looking pretty nice. Besides that, we also got a few more pieces as well. It also includes a switch right here that covers all the switches on the left side and the headlight switches and everything like that. It goes in just like that. So we offer this kit available with all these four pieces together or separately if you like. And next piece we're going over today, which is the last piece, is the multimedia panel trim cover, which covers the radio area and the top center vent area. Now all the pieces will go in Try to put them together for you real quick. And it might just look a bunch of random pieces, but we're gonna get them installed so you guys exactly how to do it. We have them in pieces because it does make it easier to install these instead of having a whole piece go into one the way that, because of the way that the dashboard is designed. So these pieces are separated, they make it much more easier for you to install and they still look seamless and look like it. And look at that, they're... <laughs> but these pieces are still seamless and they still look like they're one piece. About to have Zach head in with his Corvette C7 and get these installed on his vehicle. All right, so the first pieces we're gonna be installing today are the center console piece and the engine start and stop button. So we're just gonna get our alcohol prep pad, clean it up, clean, get the surface all clean, make sure there's no dirt or any oils on it. Then we'll use the prep pad, the primer pad, and then get these installed real quick. So let's head in the car and get these installed. Get these out clean. You okay? Mm -hmm. So let's start with this piece first. Let's get it all nice and clean. Make sure you get that in the start and stop button cleaned off. Make sure let it evaporate a little bit, get all the alcohol out of there. We're gonna take our prep pad and wipe it along the surface as well. And if you guys do not have these included, any isopropyl alcohol mix will work for this just to get it nice and clean. And these just help the adhesion to get it to stick better. And while that's evaporating, I'm gonna take our piece, peel off the double-sided tape on the back. And once you get that off, just wanna line her up, make sure the emblem is in the middle. First off, I'm gonna start with this little piece right here, put in the center of the Corvette emblem. 
press it down just a bit make sure these are all lined up so I'm gonna put some pressure from the center and go up go down here make sure the airbag is visible just go along the center right there then I'm gonna take a microfiber towel and press along the surface to make sure everything's sitting nice and even Press along the edges. Make sure, oh. <laughs> Just make sure there's no creases or no bubbles or nothing like that. And just to make sure all pieces stick correctly, we're gonna add some heat to it. Just to make sure everything adheres all good. Got that looking good so far? How's it looking good? Or how's that looking, Zach? That looks great, man. You like I it? Like it. <laughs> all right. We're just gonna take some heat, get some heat added, and put some more pressure on it. I got the quad tip also, but you have like everything right in the center, so I feel like it flows better. All right, got that piece installed, looking good. All right, so now we got the engine start stop button. Let me get that installed. Got it cleaned up already. So all I need to do is peel off the tape. Peel off that 3M tape, expose that adhesive in the back. You just want to line up this from the bottom to get that hump. Pop it in just like that. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then just apply some pressure. Hold it there for about, I say, about 20, 30 seconds just to make sure everything's correct. Sit in nicely. <laughs> All right, got that installed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Coming along nicely so far. So now we're installing the left side dash vent area piece. Goes along this entire area. So we're gonna get this entire service cleaned up. Make sure it has a nice service to get it clean or get it installed too. All right, now the first piece for this one, you want to install the top right piece of it, which goes along this outer edge. This will sit in just like this. And be the first piece to install to make the other pieces be a bit easier to install. Let's pop this tape. All right, so we're gonna put it in an insert over here. Gonna along this, gonna align this top edge first. Make sure we're not covering the chrome piece at all. That one's fitting nice. We're gonna apply some pressure along the edge. I'm gonna press down from this edge first and then bring it on down over here. And just to make sure it aligns along those edges. We're gonna take our microfiber towel, add some pressure along the whole surface. Make sure that's sticking nice and good. So for this one, we're just gonna align the edges first in the center along the buttons. Apply pressure on the left side first, and then go to the right side. It's coming along nicely so far, guys. Jesus, okay. Along this top part, you can either get an interior pry tool or a credit card. Just go along the edge to press that in, get that creased in. It's looking good so far. Just gotta peel off this tape on the bottom and get the rest installed.
piece installed. We're gonna add some heat to this one, make sure everything sticks correctly, especially along this bottom lower lip. I'm not gonna put pressure on that till I add some heat. And because this bottom has, and because this bottom piece has a little bit of a rounded edge, we're gonna hold some pressure there for about, I say, one or two minutes, just to make sure everything is correctly, or make sure everything sticks correctly. So now we're on to the multimedia control trim panel. Also the top bend trim panel. So this whole piece right here covered includes a total of seven pieces. So we're gonna start this piece right here, go inwards and then outwards, trying to make it a bit easier. So we're gonna outline the button first and the control knob button. Make sure it's all seated nicely. And we're just gonna apply pressure along the edges. And I got that piece installed. We're just gonna hold the piece for about 20 to 30 seconds. Across the entire surface, make sure it has a nice stick to it, especially along these little edges. So next we got this piece that goes right here on the start and stop push button around the radio trim. That'll be installed just like that. Yeah. <laughs> For that front, you know? True, yeah. If there were that much when I got my Camaro, I would have got one. Yeah, I know. They dropped because of shit. Yeah. And Joe Boots. So mm -hmm. I'm like, alright, I'm in. Yeah, hey, you can't beat the deals they're having, bro. So we got everything installed so far. Got the steering wheel piece right here. The left side vent area piece right here on the dash. Also got the multimedia area and the top vent area all covered up. Looking nicely, guys. We're gonna try to get these pieces made down here because this piece or this set does not include this piece right here or this top piece. But we're gonna try to get some made for those. Make it a complete set, make it look all nice. But looking nice so far, guys. Definitely changed the interior a lot compared to what it was. You fuck with it, Zach? <laughs> I love it, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's 
carbon fiber Camaro parts also fit in the C7 Corvette which is the shifter knob cap and also the shifter knob handle cover made of real carbon fiber as well. Pieces are about to install put up with some tape on the back just peel that off and simply stick it on. This simply installs just like this. Make sure the top hump is over this hump. And just go from top to bottom. Just like that, guys. Interior's looking nice now, man. See it all carbon fiber now. <laughs> I like it though. So we got all the pieces installed, went over a bunch of new Corvette C7 parts that we got at nextgenspeed.com. And be sure to stay tuned to our Instagram and Facebook and sign up for our newsletter to be the first one to check out our new products that we're offering and to get a first look at all the new items that we're offering as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time.